hello friends and welcome back uh, today we will uh, in this video today we will check apache nfa apache nfa is a big data tool uh, which is like a tool suit instead of tool we can say so this is open source project which is uh, providing a tools to process and distribute data uh, it, it's like a uh, provide a data from different different connectors to out and using the different connectors you can in create uh, input provide input as a data as well so why uh, apache nf is um, um, more uh, suitable or more popular it's because of its intuitive ui and it it is manage, uh, able to create like a flow based uh, process because data process is kind of a one flow from one pipeline it will go to the another pipeline transform it uh, massaging on it and then again transfer to the next pipeline and uh, they have different different processes based on the requirement and the tool suit. So it providing the intuitive where you are where you can define the flow uh, where you are able to track that flow as well where actually the data is and combine this together it's like a suit or platform use case. So today uh, prerequisite as usually we we need to be install the docker if you don't know how to install the docker uh, there is a link in the description or you can visit the official docker or documentation as well. We need two images one is of course the docker nifi apache nifi and apache nifi registry apache nifi is a registry to register this flows or manage the versioning for of apache nifi workflow or the data flow you can say as usually pull the docker images i have already pulled the both the images in my local to save our time uh, both apache nifi and apache nifi registry if you are able to see here that also you can verify you can pull by using the docker pull and the letter uh, name of the image and the tag i use the latest one you can try the different one version as well uh, I'm, i have i'm the next step is like creating the content so docker run name of the container port mapping 8443 to also we have a map to the same portal we have mentioned one more environment variable like a web https port here we have mentioned the https port which is the 8443 which we'll use to verify whether the to access the apache nfi or not local so let's go ahead and run the docker image and create the container so first thing first let's create once that is created uh, we'll check the logs by using the verification that whether this container is running started running properly or not it started then go ahead and pull the nifi registry image and then run the apache nfi registry as well so i have opened two terminals i am very big fan of vs code which is very simple and elegant tool so you can use your command prompt or cli or any other tool so let's see and we will do the validation as well from our side uh, whether it's up or not so let's go ahead and check this one it's up or not it seems not at it's not at up Okay, let's go ahead and check the registry. I think registry is up because it's lightweight, so the registry is loading. So we'll wait for some time to load the Apache NFI. If you go and check the Apache NFI official website, definitely if you come across this video, that means you're aware about the Apache NFI, or at least you have heard. If you look, it's like an easy, powerful, and reliable system. So this kind of a UI you are able to see. Let's say one is a batch kind of analytics. Another one is the stream analytics. So you can do this one. You can provide the input, do the process. Like a flow-based things you can manage, okay? Features, if you look like web, web user interface it has, like which I, which I have shown you, or we'll check in the main some meantime, okay? So if you look, you have to go to the advanced setting and process to the local okay let it load and then data provenance design extension and the security let's check if you look here this is asking username and password for that we have to go back and ask our terminal to check in the logs if we have username and password if you look here we have the username created and the password so you can copy this and use later this look good let's run it once login you are able to see if you look here in the registry you don't have anything okay thing is there okay you have to import 
but let's see if you create some new flow okay or if you go to the different tool let me try let me try and go to the registry then if your settings so if you look here at different different options it is providing input port output port process group you can create the process groups as well different different processes okay you can create a funnel you have some predefined template you can add that one as well so this this kind of options it will provide okay built-in board or something controller setting okay the flow configuration history if you have anything okay so this is a cool tool i feel and you can try it in local that's the best thing uh for that we have to thank the our should be thankful to our docker registry so here if you look we'll add the registry client if you click here you can provide the name let's say you know and the url which you want to add like any few url registry okay i'll just add as an registry okay Think so I have to mention if it is a stray. I'll just try to mention if it is a stray. Add it. Okay. So this is our registry we have added. So whenever we create something task, we can push this task to this registry. Okay, our flow we have created. So right now we ha I haven't created any flow. Let it be. So that's it for now today. I hope this video is useful for you and how you are using what's the use case for your Apache NAP. Kindly let me know. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, we'll meet next time with the new thing.